The more defined you get on your job role, you can then determine the personality type for that job role and then hire the right person in the right seat based on personality profile. What's the number one secret to turning around your business from chaos to clarity? Yeah. So Brett, I looked at like a lot of your listeners, their brokerages, you know, their um, insurance agencies. There's a lot of people owning small business, small to mid-sized business. And the number one, the number one key really is, is team, right? Without the right team, you're, you're not going to be able to step away from your business. Um, and so a couple of steps real quick on that is if you do not have core values, you do not have culture, you do have core values and culture. It's just that your team and it's not yours. So core values and culture need to be pushed down, not, not bubbled up, so to speak. Once you know your core values, you can hire the right person in your organization. But then the next challenge is if you don't have job roles defined, well-defined, like for example, early on, my job role was answer phones, all other duties assigned by management. That's a terrible job role. And I don't know what the personality type is to fit that job role. So the more defined you get on your job role, you can then determine the personality type for that job role and then hire the right person in the right seat based on personality profile. The last piece to hiring a great team is each job role in your organization should have a key performance indicator or a KPI. And they should, each job role should have one to three KPIs. And uh, this is how they're rowing in the right direction. So how do you know that everybody, how do they know they're doing a good job if there's no scorecard, right? Uh, be, Back, back when I took Little League or, or when, when we played sports, they, they used to do this thing where they kept score. Not sure they do that these days, uh, but we keep score and a scorecard tells you if you're winning or losing. If you know clearly what that job role should be doing to be successful and you know the, all, the, all, the, um, all the requirements to, to do that job role and you have the right personality and the right person, then you're gonna be pretty successful. So that's kind of the first line of defense. The next okay, let me go through that real fast. So the number one secret <clears throat> is the team. It is all about the team. And a key mm -hmm. part of that is having core values and a culture that is led from leadership top down. Yep. And the second part of that is getting job roles clearly defined. Yep. And the next part of that is of those job roles, clearly defining the key performance indicators, probably one, two, or three, and actually keeping scores. Is that a first summary so far, Pete? Yeah, so far. And uh, the last piece of that is hire by hire based on personality. So you hire you hire based on your core values, but put them in the right seat based on personality. Um, there's a lot of different personality profile exams out there or tests, uh, if you will. I like DISC. It's super simple. And, um, you know, if you want to Google DISC, you can learn a little bit about it. And uh, so hire the right person, put them in the right seat, make sure they know what they're doing. Keep score. That's that's the first that's the first line of fence of getting your um, of getting the right team in play. Okay, that makes sense.